champion season, all-star horse racing. And a very good evening to all of our Teletrack viewers around the country. We're coming to you live from the Saddler's Arms restaurant here at Gravel Racecourse, overlooking the parade ring, which is going to be a buzz with excitement come Super Saturday, the 25th of July. That's just uh, 10 days or so away from now. And our big feature on the day is, of course, the Elan Property Group Gold Cup for one and a quarter million rand, over 3,200 meters, and what a field we have this year. The winners of all the major staying races around the country over the last 12 months are assembled and up for grabs, I think, is the Equus Award for the champion stayer of 2014-15. We don't have last year's winner, Waven Flag, that's uh, gone abroad, I believe, but we do have the horses that finished second, third, and fourth last year. We have the horses that finished first, second, third, fourth, and fifth in the recent uh, Gold Vase run on Vodacom Durban July. We have the j &B Reserve Stayers winner. We have a Dual Oaks winner. They're all in the mix. It's a terrific field of 16 runners plus two reserves. And in just a moment, we gain to do the draw. And joining me up in front here to assist with the draw, I have the Chief Executive Officer of the Elan Property Group, Mark Taylor. And clearly, he's the gentleman. And uh, on his right is the operations manager, recently appointed, adding a lot of glamour to Gravel Racecourse. Welcome, Jacqueline Yanko. So they can assist with the draw for this uh, evening's uh, live draw of the Elan Gold Cup. And to get proceedings underway, Vinny's going to hand a gold bag, which he's done already, to, to, to Jacqueline. We're going to draw one horse, which will serve as our starting point. And so we're going to get a horse's name out. And Wild One is the first that's going to come out, number seven on the card from the Mike DeCox stable, second in this race last year. Mark, if you do the honours. Anthony Del Pesce gets the ride. He's been in super form since he's come back off a last, long break. He's run second. And who have we got? What number have we got there, Mark? Number five, Wild One is drawn at gate number five. That's a fantastic start for the Mike DeCox stable. So now we just proceed downwards. And uh, we go to number eight, Kingston Mines. And Jacqueline's going to do the draw for Kingston Mines. We've just been joined by Dean Canama, who's got a pretty strong hand in the race. He's drawn seven. Kingston Mines has drawn seven. He won the JMB Reserve Stays. He won the Caradoc Gold Cup. He's to be ridden by Johnny Gerodis. Now, Wild One has been priced up favourite by Track and Ball at four to one. It's a very competitive race. Kingston Mines, a very attractive 12 to one. So we're up next with uh, number nine, Solid Speed, and it's appropriate at this time that uh, Dean has just joined us because we've got Stuart Randolph, we've got the Kaya Stables, we've got Dean Canemayer, who of course all teamed up to win the Vodacom Durban July just a couple of days ago. They're looking for a memorable double with Solid Speed, who ran third in the Gold Vase and won the Lonsdale. Now, where have we drawn? Drawn at gate number two. Dean, are you happy with that? Gate number two for Solid Speed. Now we go to the Gold Vase winner, number 10, Heart of a Lion, trained by Gavin Fonsell to be ridden by Muzi Yeni. He's carrying only 52 and a half. He's attractively priced at 10 to 1. He's drawn at gate number 9. The early ones coming out are getting the favourable draws. On to number 11, Storm Warning from the Dominic Zaki stable to be ridden by Craig Zaki, winner of the Aquanaut Handicap. He's drawn it out at gate number 16 is number 11, Storm Warning. He's got just 52 and a half to carry. Now number 12, Balance Sheet. He's also from the Dean Canemayer stable. Hasn't raced beyond 2,200 metres. Was fourth in the Vodacom Durban July Consolation last time out. He steps up in trip. Is an interesting runner. He's 20 to 1 with track and ball. Keegan DeMello gets the ride and is drawn at gate number 10 is balance sheet. Gate number 10. We move on to number 13, Wild Ash, who's in particularly good form. She won the Sun Chariot. She won the Spook Express. And on Vodacom Durban July Day was at gate number 12. She's drawn at gate number 12 is Wild Ash. She will be ridden by Donovan Mansur for the Jeff Woodruff stable. And as I said, she's a dual feature race winner already this season. And she ran an absolute cracker when splitting Heart of a Lion and Solid Speed on Vodacom Durban July Day in the Gold Vase. 14... Savage Wind, interesting runner from the Joey Somers table. He was third in the track and ball derby. He's been priced up 20 to 1. And it's a great opportunity for promising young apprentice Callan Murray, who gets a ride. But uh, Savage Wind is drawn out at gate number 15. But Callan Murray 
Certainly, he learnt his trade here at Gravel. He knows his way around the Gravel track. Just to remind you, of course, these horses line up at the 400 metre mark, pretty much at the 400 metre mark, go helter skelter past the grandstand for the first time and all the way around the track again. Number 15, the Gold Bowl winner for 2015 is Jay's Outsider, ran a close fourth in the Gold Vase. Dennis Dreyer came right back to form on Vodacom Durban July Day, and he now trains Jay's Outsider to be ridden by Sean Veal, draws 17. So Jay's Outsider will have to come from one of the outside gates, uh, but certainly he's got no stamina doubts whatsoever. We're pleased to have with us here this evening Glenn Cotson and family. Kathy's here as well. Number 16, Gone Baby Gone, as uh, to be ridden by Warren Kennedy's. Well drawn at number six. He ran a close up fifth in the gold vase. Hasn't quite lived up to his expectations, but you never know with just 52 on his back at 33 to 1 with track and ball. Could be a nice outsider to go for. Now we're going to go to our two reserve runners. And our two reserve runners, the first of these is number 17. Carl Carter, a former winner of the gold vase. He's drawn handily at number four. And remember, if the reserve runners come out, then the draws move inwards. So Carl Carter, trained by Sean Tarry, is the first reserve has drawn four. And our second reserve is number 18B with me, Duncan Howells. Last two wins over 2,400 metres is drawn at gate number 14. Jacqueline has drawn out gate number 14 to be with me. Now we go all the way to number one. Gold Onyx, what an interesting runner. He was placed in the Queen's Plate, Lawrence Queen's Plate. He was placed in the j &B Met. His two runs this season so far in KwaZulu-Natal have to go down a somewhat of a disappointment, although he did meet with interference in the Vodacom Durban July. But Grant Burr retains the ride. And let us not forget that this grand old man of horse racing ran third in this race last year. He stays the trip. He's got 60 to carry and he's drawn at gate number 18, which is not going to help his cause at all. But he does tuck in behind. He likes to run on from off them, and I think he'll run the similar sort of race that he did last year. Now, Dean Kahneman has got a strong hand with solid speed, who drew well. We've also got number two, Hot Ticket, who was a derby winner. He was fourth in this race last year. Uh, he's got 59 to shoulder. He's 11 to two, second favorite with track and ball in the early betting. Carl Nicias gets the ride, and Hot Ticket, is drawn at gate number 13. The Justin Snaith stable is represented by number three, Ash Cloud. She's a dual Oaks winner to be ridden by Richard Free. Healthy respect in the betting market for Ash Cloud. She's a 10 to one. And she has drawn at gate number eight. Gate number eight. Incidentally, these little draw marbles, they're not marbles, they're actually chocolates, so we can all have a feast afterwards. But not you viewers, you can't get here to enjoy the chocolates. Number four is Coltrane. Winner of the Chairman's Cup, Pierre Stradham rides, always a plus, 10 to 1 in the betting, 56 to carry, Joey Ramsden trains, and Coltrane, who likes to go up handy, is drawn at gate number three. Could he be the one to make the running in the early stages? Number five, Vino Veritas from the Gavin Van Sales table. Samanga Kamalo gets the ride, is the winner, or she's the winner of the Allée France, also ran second in the Gerald Rosenberg to Tama Nee, so she's got classes, Felice, she's very game, she's very consistent. She's got 55 and a half, and somebody has got to get the one gate, and Vina Veritas has got the one gate. Drawn at number one is number five, Vina Veritas, and that leaves us with number six, Disco L, winner of the Algoa Cup and the recent track and ball derby. Anton Marcus rides, third favorite in the early betting at six to one, carrying 55 and a half, and gate number 11 is the last one, which goes to number six, Disco L. So that is the draw then for the Gold Cup, as you can see, the Elan Property Group Gold Cup. And just to reflect on the betting for a moment, as track and ball, Pierrick Mujan is here with us this evening. They've priced up. Number seven, Wild One is the favorite at four to one. They've gone 11 to two, number two, Hot Ticket. They've gone six to one, number six, Disco L. And 10 to one and upwards the balance. It's pretty much that kind of a race. It's a very, very competitive race. All the best stayers in South Africa are here. But now it's time for me to have a quick chat with uh, Mark Taylor, who, as I said earlier, is the Chief Executive Officer for the Elan Property Group. Mark, this uh, is your second time around. You've struck up a partnership with Gold Circle. Your home is the silver ring above our executive offices. And uh, yeah, how's it going? I think it's going very well, Graham. I think we've been learning a little bit about horse racing. We didn't know too much before, but... Um we're very excited about the prospects for the future and, and particularly how we can grow the Elan Gold Cup. 
Well, I know last year we signed the deal a couple of weeks before the race, so we didn't have very much time, but you've had a year to reflect on how we can build on last year, and I'm told that you have a very, very exciting prize up for grabs, and some lucky race-goer that comes to the track on the 25th is going to be one of six finalists for a 700,000 rand property. Tell us about that competition. Well, this is, this is a very interesting competition that we've run in conjunction with independent uh, newspapers, which uh, every subscriber from, I think it was the beginning of, of, of April or May till the end of June stands a chance to win. Uh, so we've got five winners from the subscription database of independent newspapers, and then one from uh, the day. Anybody that comes on the day is also eligible. So we'll have six prize winners um, who will enter, who will each draw a horse on the, on the, um, in the main race. And the winner of that race will win the piece of land, which is valued, as we say, at 700,000 rand. So that draw is going to take place uh, just after the running of the uh, Elan Property Group Gold Cup. So we're going to have six finalists. I understand, actually, they're each going to do two, draw two horses, which means that there are a few running for without, uh, without owners, but it's the first one home that will take the property. Yeah, that's correct. I think there's a lot of excitement, and, and obviously we're hoping to encourage people to come to the day where they stand an equal chance with the other five of winning the main prize. Well, that's terrific, but you've also got some fabulous hospitality packages up because you're doing, uh, doing something special upstairs in the Silver Ring. Yeah, well, I think for the first time ever, we're going to really open up the, the Silver Ring room. I mean, the Durban July was an incredible vibe and opportunity, and, and I think if we can create a similar sort of vibe in the Silver Ring room that, that the guys did there at the time, then, we, um, then we've achieved something. But we, we've got three packages in total. We're selling uh, a comprehensive package of 700 Rand, which is eat and drink as much as you like, 300 Rand, which is a more limited package. Then on the field, we're having a, a very nice VIP marquee for about 200 Rand per person with entertainment and all that sort of stuff, yeah. Well, Mark, it's a great pleasure always working with the team. Mark Taylor, the chief executive of the Elan Property Group Gold Cup, uh, sponsors of this major grade one race that promises to be a most exciting event on the 25th. Remember, it's Super Saturday. We've also got the Champions Cup. We've got a host of grade one juvenile features. It's going to be a, a fantastic day. And I've also got latest news, of course, from V. Moodley. We had a terrific day at the Vodacom Durban July. So he's asked me just to point out uh, that the place accumulator pool, which opens, of course, with race three, is likely to top two million rand. Uh, the pick six, we've got a carryover of a million and a half. We're expecting that pool to top six million rands. The jackpot pool, jackpot number one, remember there are 12 races, we've got two jackpots, we'll top one and a half. And the quartet, well, that blew us all on, on Vodacom Durban July Day. The quartet just continues to be so popular. It has a carryover of 300,000 rand coming into the, to the Elan Property Group Gold Cup, and the likely pool is it to be in the order of three million. Plus the win pool, plus the place pool, we'll be paying five places. Thank you for joining us. We trust you've enjoyed the short uh, crossing to the Saddler's Arms live here at Gravel Racecourse. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Champion season, all-star horse racing.